by the two captains at the toss. The Australians have made Peter Taylor 12th man, so they've gone in without a spinner, although Alan Border could bowl left arm spin. It's an all pace attack, and it's Marsh, Boone, Jones, Moody, War, Border, Steve War, Healy, McDermott, Whitney, and Reed coming in to bowl left arm pace with Michael Whitney. And Pakistan are at full strength. They've had plenty of problems with injury and illness. Ramiz Raja comes back despite a shoulder injury. There's Amir Sohail, who's a good left hand batsman. Javed Miandad is back after illness and they are led by Imran Khan. Wazim Haider is the 12th man. Now the points table and the West Indies. We join play now in the third over. Four runs are on the board. McDermott is the bowler and Ramiz Raja is taking strike. And it's well driven and the fast pitch will have that ball to run down to Wong On. It's going to go all the way, hence the timing was there. First boundary for Pakistan. Yes, it is a lightning fast ground and it's accentuated if you actually hit the ball onto the pitch or in fact any of the uh, the, the centre square, the pitch areas really hard there and you get a tremendous bounce. It's like playing uh, that electric light cricket that they play in Adelaide where you bounce the ball into the, the ground over the fieldsman's head. No ball, he's got an edge, so that's a, an out off a no ball. Beautiful bowling, but over the popping crease, so the no-ball call was early. Yes, he really has the ball swinging quite nicely and swinging late. You see the batsman's head uh, whiz around there and the look of anguish on the keeper's face. Ian Healy realising that there had been a touch. Steady start by Pakistan here at the Wacker after winning the toss and looking to bat. It's beautifully played. The ball swinging onto his pads. He's timed that beautifully going down the hill. Should run for here at least. Board of the fieldsman giving the chase. And they're struggling a bit. Get home. Good relay there. The throw from Whitney. Not all that quick on the second throw, but beautifully timed stroke of his pads. Rami's Raja. That was a superb stroke. Yes, it was the outswinger uh, starting around leg stump, which is not a bad ball sometimes to somebody who likes to clip the ball through the onside. Quite often you can get a leading edge with that sort of delivery. Well, might have been worth trying it again. That has just rocketed into the fence at straight hit. A glorious straight drive. Not over pitching by all that much, but on the whacker, your line and your length has to be perfect. Just a little bit too much width. And you get past the infield here straight at the whacker, you've got four just about every time. Steve Waugh. And it's now none for 44. Pakistan have taken the initiative here at the WACA ground in Perth. They won the toss and batted. Amir Sohail is 13, Ramiz Raja 20. 11 extras. The fourth bowler to be used comes on now, Michael Whitney from the members end. Well, Mike Whitney's become a better bowler over the last couple of years because he has... Uh, improved his in-swing. He's, he's now able to bring the ball back in from outside the off stump of the right-hander. And the one that carries on is the one that uh, quite often will get the wicket. The batsman plays for the in-swing as we've seen here. Carries on, takes the outside edge. And down to third man, Bruce Reed for a single. Just a single there on the deflection. Fifty partnership to these two. This is wide from Whitney. And Amir Sahel throws the bat at it. It's through Jeff Marsh in the gully. It's a long chase for Dean Jones. Again, this outfield very quick here today at the Wacker. Dean Jones, a fabulous throw into Ian Healy. That's a throw of 80 metres or so. Almost straight in over the top of the stumps. 
Jeff Marsh took the pace off that ball at Gully and Dean Jones did the rest. He really throws his bat at him because they've come in close for the single. Could hardly get down to save that uh, the ball. And Dean Jones does really well to actually pick it up and save the runs. That'll be more runs for Ramiz Raj. He's going to race away over the outfield. He's clipped it very firmly through his wicket and Jones covering a lot of ground. Well, that's run away very quickly. The four runs in Pakistan at the end of the 18th over now. None for 70. Well, he's out. He's gone. Ramiz Raja doing exactly that, trying to accelerate the rate. He's aimed through the wicket. Alan Border, very sharp at the wicket, has caught the ball cleanly. It's the first Pakistan wicket to fall. 78, the runs on the board. You see Whitney back of a link, and Ramiz Rogers dragging it over midwicket, and a great catch by Alan Border going away to his left. Just what Australia need, and the score one for 78. The new batsman at the crease for Pakistan is Salim Malik. And it's the river end now. It's going to be a change of bowling. Alan Border capitalising on that wicket. He's decided to bring on Tom Moody. And it's a wicket again for Tom Moody. Selling Malik horribly out of form in this competition. He's bowled. All ends up by Tom Moody. It's been a good opening over there from Moody. And Selling Malik coming forward. Close all round this delivery. Pakistan lose their second wicket. It's two for 80. Alan Border having changed the bowler at this end, and there it is, Salim Malik playing all around it, Bob, middle stump, change of bowling, Maisie, now you get a, a wicket. Well, Salim Malik, not been in form, he's very, very disconsolate as he trudges back, he's on his way back to the pavilion, in Pakistan at 2 for 80. The new batsman for Pakistan is Javed Mirandad. He's away this time. Confidently played through the offside. It's a long chase for Tom Moody. This ball is going to race away for four. It's not really a contest. Javed Mirandad off the mark with the second delivery. Four runs. As Javed's shown his intentions here, yeah, he's tried to crack the first one away and missed it. And here, yeah, this next delivery he faces, drives it beautifully through between backward point and cover and the Australian fielders have got no chance as it runs away for four. So how at the other end he's doing a good job but not scoring quickly and the run rate dropping all the time that's a great effort by Moody and Whitney at this stage of the match. Can't get LBW there, he's got the charge, he's three metres down, they get a leg by. It's two for 100. And it up for Pakistan. It's absorbing cricket. They were on top early, Pakistan. That's well hit. Jones is out there. It's going to clear him. That's a big hit by Sohei. Times it well. It's getting away from Jones. He dives. He knocks it back. Brilliant fielding. Leave a Sohei. A good shot when you can clear Jones about the 70 metre mark and over his head. A brilliant effort by Dean Jones. What a magnificent shot. But how brilliant is that man there? Probably uh, the best one day uh, batsman in the world. Just chase that out to the fence, well over 100 metres, and have a look at the throw. Straight over the bales. 29 overs bowl, so Pakistan need to move on as Reed comes back into the attack from the members' end. It's a fine shot, that'll be four. Jarvid moving straight into Reed's first half volley, finds a gap. This is a real test for Bruce Reed here. That's four. <laughs> Bruce Reed is a very good bowler, uh, an excellent bowler, uh, who loses it when the batsmen get after him. First ball, there was no sitting on that and uh, pushing it for one or two. Glorious cover drive. 
Went with the angle and hit it square. Glorious shot. Yes, there you have all the runs scored. Peter Kirsten, the leading run getter, but Amir Sahil, 279. Very interested in passing Kirsten, Crow, Lara. Two from Sri Lanka there. That's nicely hit. He's hit plenty of boundaries in this competition too. And up goes the bat as he hit it. He had the bat in the air waving for the 50. And he knew where it was headed. And Javid, I would be certain, would be telling him, your job is only half done, son. Keep it going. Yes. Here comes his uh, 50. Just picks it up over Midwicket and Madon. Short, the field is in short, saving that single. Very safe hit. And he's got his 50 of 85 balls. That uh, will be another boundary. So that's 28 in all for Sahail in the tournament. He's hit five today. And that has him in third place in the World Cup. Brian Lara has hit 32. Martin Crow 31 and then Amir Sahail has 28 boundaries in the World Cup. Yes, Sahail times the ball superbly here. Gives himself just a bit of room with extra bounce and clips it right in the gap. Four runs. 57 to Amir Sahail. 20 to Javed Meandad. Two for one, 32 after 33 overs and a change at the members end is to be Mark Waugh to replace Bruce Reed. Bruce Reed taking a bit of stick in the last over. And uh, so Hale is going on with the job here. That's three boundaries in the last couple of overs from the members' end. Now that Sir Hale's got his 50s, looking to score pretty freely. And there you see his first ball, not too sure of the length. And uh, Sir Hale just jumps on the half volley, four runs. And once again, he's hit it into the gap. So the boundary is coming thick and fast for Amir Sahail. Yes, he's been looking to hit short pitch deliveries on the leg side. And here, War uh, comes in and drops one short here. And that's exactly what he's been looking for. Times it perfectly, straight in the gap. And there's no chance from a despairing dive there. Ian Healy, and he's taken the catch. So Tom Moody gets his second breakthrough, and it's a good one for Australia, getting rid of Amir Sahail. This has the inform batsman in a bid to try and score a lot quicker. He gets this ball, he's trying to pull over midwicket, gets a top edge. In fact, it looks like the batter's open-faced, and Healy takes a great catch over his head. Pakistan, 103 for 157. Imran Khan has come in to join Javed Meandad. In the commentary position, David Gower joins Richie Benno. Javed Meandad is on strike. And there is the start of uh, the run rush now. Whitney is the bowler. And Imran and Javid Meandad have had their conference, and this is the result. Well, Javid knows what he's got to do now. He's hit this ball very cleanly, timed it beautifully. It's actually gone at catchable heights, but straight through the gap. Beautifully placed, and once it's found that gap, there's no doubt about it, it's always going to be four runs. That's a wonderful hit. Well, it might have taken him round a while to find his length, to get the hang of his swing. On this occasion, there's no doubt about it whatsoever. It's a long, long hit, over long on. He's picked up Mike Whitney very cleanly. Very powerful strike of the ball in run come. And that's four or five rows back into the crowd. Three for one, 93. It's Steve Ward to bowl to Javid Mendes. And that is very well bowled by Steve Waugh. A quicker delivery. 
Javid Mirndad was looking for the stroke down towards third man. Healy has done the job. That's spotted by Richie Benno there. Bit of extra pace from Steve Wall. Mirndad had given himself room. Just a thin top edge there, Ian Healy completes the catch. Mirndad, not a happy man. Knows that he was going to be responsible for most of the rest of the Pakistan innings. Pakistan now 4 for 193. 22 year old in Saban Ul Haq. Now then, Bruce Reed. Uh, Tom Moody. Tom Moody, the man at uh, long off. And Steve Waugh has come back very well. He was in trouble at one point with the wides. And uh, the fact that he was taking a little bit of a hammering. There's great strength of character to be able to come back in this fashion. Tom Moody got himself in a good position here. For a while it looked as though the ball was going to clear him. Halfway to the boundary at over mid-off. In the end, a comfortable catch. A miscued shot from Imran Khan. Pakistan are 5 for 194. So Ijaz Ahmed is the new batsman. Well, good shot, but he won't beat the man down there. Well, maybe he does. No, he doesn't. Great effort. McDermott with a good arm fires it back. Good save. Fast bowler in the outfield. Does a great job, Craig McDermott. He's absolutely speeding across the outfield, that uh, shot. It was well hit by Inzamam. He's a big man. A very good timer of the ball. That was a terrific effort from McDermott. A sliding save. Ball just got away from him a bit, but he was able to trap it before it got into the gutter. Well, stops go now for Pakistan and Australia in the World Cup. That's oh, hit back over his head, goes all the way for four. It's cut off. Missed him. He's behind the cameraman eight. Attempted slow ball from Steve Waugh, and he was nearly beheaded. Absolutely smashed back there by Inzamam. That's a good catch. No, oh, he drops it. Well, he answered that very often. He's out. He's got him. Well, can you believe that? Healy drops the catch. There's confusion. The run out from Healy is eventually made with a direct hit from about 16 metres. And what a let off and panic in the Pakistan camp. Well, it mightn't be such a bad thing for Pakistan because it really is about time they got uh, Wazi Makram to the crease. He's a tremendous hitter. Ijaz getting a thick edge. Healy, uh, I think there in trying to protect that hamstring has caused him to drop that one. But uh, no problem with his arm. Ijaz wanted the run. Inzamam sent him back. So Ijaz is run out. And it's six for 205. Wasn't able chicks it in the air. He's out. Yeah, surely. That's out. And Steve Waugh strikes again. Two wickets in a row. A run out and a catch. Seven for 205. Was an act the danger man. Got the foolish delivery of the slow when he just chipped it. The ball went high. He's out for a duck. First ball. So he hasn't picked a slow ball at all. It's the uh, it's the leg cutter slow ball, and uh, he really would have been better off to just go through with a shot. But the problem was that Ozzy Macram didn't pick it, and it's now seven for two oh five. Well, Australia right back in this match. Great defensive effort by Stephen Waugh. Coming into the attack when it was needed. And that was a big hitting Wasamakram out first ball. And all of a sudden, Pakistan looking, they might not get to 220 when 250, 260 looked a real possibility earlier on. Well, Ejaz was the first man to go. The save. There was a nick. Here he gets it and drops it. 
it picks up and with a glove on from about 15 metres, hits the middle stump, a great effort. EJ is looking for the single. That was six for 205 and the very next ball. And he was way out in front of that one, was he, Matt Graham? Not picking the slow ball at all. An easy catch there for Mark War. No one calm, the new batsman. Well placed. Master fieldsman. Ball's over, sure they'll come back in third this time. Yes, that's better running. It's well placed that shot. He angled that nicely through the gully region. Marsh was the man coming away from deep point. Strong throw from Jeffrey Marsh. Ian Healy just uh, looked earlier as though he was fully recovered from that hamstring problem, but he's not. He throws that one and you see him uh, just hobble away back to his position. Still not 100% uh, with the hamstring. Small ball and he picked it. And they go for two, it's Reed. He's coming back, this will be very close, he's got to go. No, the throw was high. He's got him, yes, he's got him. Well, he seemed to be making ground, the throw seemed to be wide. But the decision is out. He looked out when he was making the run, but the throw was high, and here we had to drag the ball back into the stumps. He's not the quickest man to the ball, Bruce Reed, but he has got a strong throwing arm, and uh, he wasn't that far from the stumps. It was only a throw of uh, oh, about 50 metres, but no wonder Inzamam uh, has given uh, the umpire the glare. He was well and truly home. It's eight for 214. Unfortunately for Pakistan, that seemed to be a decision that went wrong. The wideness of the throw gave the batsman a chance to make his ground. It was quite a fast throw from Reed. Pick up and throw. But Hilly took some time to get the bales up because of the width the umpire reeled him out final delivery and he's gone so it's nine for 220 a magnificent performance by the Australian team the run rate required to be that 4.42 221 the target for Australia shows what a terrific job Alan Border and his men did in the field and with the ball 76 for Amir Sohail 34 for Ramiz Raja. They lost their way a little bit in the middle. Javed Miandad, 46. And the main partnership was Sohail and Javed Miandad, 77 from 95 balls. Now, the bowling figures are all important for Australia and for this match. They've got themselves back in the game. McDermott, absolutely terrific. Ten overs, no maiden, one for 33. But the star was Steve Waugh. Now, that was some of the best character I've ever seen on a cricket field out there. He was in trouble early, came back and bowled 10 overs, no maiden, 3 for 36, a tremendous performance. Moody did a good job as well, 2 for 42. So, but it is a very competitive target they've been set. Javid continues. Moody gets an edge, and that's the first wicket down. That's what Pakistan needed. A genuine outswing, a genuine edge. It was taken at first, that Moody departs. 1 for 13. Of it, bowling superbly here. Finally gets that outside edge, and Salam Malik takes a low, low catch there at first slip. Great catch, and aren't they excited about that? That's the start that Pakistan need. One for a, one for thirteen. Inform David Boone, so he makes his way to the centre of the WACA ground. It's in the air. It's just falls safely over backward point. to Jeff Marsh. Yes, the umpire calls no ball there as well to help add to the extras. And Wazi Makram, yeah, who's charging in, holds it short. Marsh just picks it off, flicks it over the cover field, and they pick up two runs here. Yeah. Just deliberately just chips it over there and accepts those two runs. Yes, Boone would want to get himself played in here. He'd have hoped that the openers would have done the job against the uh, Pakistan quicks, but now he's got to carry that out from now on. There it goes. It does trouble him when he comes around the wicket. 
second slip there might have got a reward for Pakistan. But the first slip was diving away to his right. Which really wasn't on. He was quite wide as well. Raced away for four. This Wazir Makram is not happy here. Yeah, Boone just gets that edge. And if there was a second slip in place there, he would have gladly accepted that catch. But Wazir Makram has got four on the leg side. He's got to actually make up his mind which side of the wicket he's going to bowl before Imran can safely put in an extra slip. Big shout. I think he's gone this time. No, he's not. All up. All by the umpire. There seems to be quite a lot of confusion out there. It's present moment and Imran Khan calming all the players down this ball goes down the league side and that looks like he might have just clipped his thigh pad on the way through and umpire Liebenberg is probably correct he's been put under a lot of pressure here and go on a third slip that's good bowling by Akib Javid Mushtaq has been moved into third slip so put it down as a combination. Good bowling by Akib Javid, good captaincy by Imran Khan. Great stuff from Pakistan, defending 220. Mushtaq is the man at slip, takes it safely, second wicket down for Australia, and there's a real contest on here at the Wacker. 2 for 31. Dean Jones comes in at number four. He's had great success in one-day games at number three. He's down a slot. It's going to be Ejaz now from the members' end. Well, that would have been wide as well, but uh, Jeff Marsh is able to get a bat on it. And very wide down to third man. Ramiz Rod is the man down there. He's got a bad shoulder. The reason Ramiz hasn't been playing for Pakistan the last couple of games is a shoulder injury. And in some ways, it's a bit of a problem to have a man like that down at third man where the Australians can run comfortably on the arm. Yes, from the moment that uh, Jeff Marsh got back to ball there, Jonesy knew he was in there for three. And it's Imran Khan. He's gone over the top this time, Dean Jones. Imran Khan dropping slightly short. Not hit it quite cleanly. They'll get two runs for it. Yes, he can't, hit, uh, can't sit on them for too long, Dean Jones. It's one of these players who wants to attack at all times. Just a fraction short there from Imran. Just got a bit of bottom hand in that and hooked it uh, forward of score. Magnificent athlete, Imran Khan. Faced him at his peak many years ago and was very, very fast. He's heading for 40 years of age. He's still not too bad, is he? And that's a great shot from Dean Jones. This is typical Jones. That's one bounce. The long, long bounce hit the wicket there. It's four runs all the way. Cleanly picked up in Australia now. Two for 52. Just closed the face of the bat over the top. It would have been six on most grounds in the world. Magnificent hit. And we see the Australian worm, that technical term, the worm, at the moment currently below Pakistan's Pakistani strike rate, run rate. Yep. That's wild, wild fielding. We've talked a lot about Pakistan's inexperience in the field. And that was more incompetence, I'm afraid, than inexperience. It's, that really literally is throwing runs away. Yes. <laughs> Imran can't believe it. Have a look. I think someone's got to just coach him that when you're running in and underarming the ball of the keeper, you aim at the base of the stumps because your arm is coming up. He obviously aimed at the bales went over his head. Dean Jones, he'll be looking for two. He's got Amir Sahel to take on, and he's done it easily. 
good fielding but very very good running indeed and this is Dean Jones's attempt to try and get the Australian run rate up from its current position brilliant over 18 meters he knew there was always two there and was he moving only two boundaries in the first 21 overs Pakistan have scored six at this stage, but one does get the feeling that Jones is just starting to break the shackles here. And he needed to do that because Marsh, the other end, is struggling for touch. And Jones is one of the best one-day batsmen in the world. He clips that beautifully over the circle. that will go all the way to a wide east long line of superb strike. Sitting in the back of the commentary box, uh, which is always very easy, been wondering why they haven't had a dart at uh, Ejaz Ahmed. He's uh, the vulnerable bowler. It's time. Beats covered. It's away for single. There will be some panic here later on. They give away an extra run, certainly in the field. Pakistan not in the same class as the Australian side. That was a ridiculous throw. There was no chance of a run out. Hit the stumps and ricochet away for the extra run. Stupid cricket. And boy, do you think Imi hasn't let him know about it? For this one thing exercise in my mind, Bill, will Wasim Akram be able to come back and bowl his last four over? Because I can't see him on the field at the moment. You mentioned it, Richie, neither can I. In the air, there's a man down there who's coming in. Oh, he plays the defensive side of the ball. That's not on. You've got to have a go in a game like this. He stood back, defended, and the ball fell in. He's just explaining uh, why he didn't continue to attack it. Almost into a fly slip position. Two for 100. Good fortunate there, but it's a boundary. Luck changing for Australia there. As they uh, decided to now make an assault on it and Dean Jones, as he runs through here, you'll see he lifts his fist. He's seen a boundary. And he's very happy with that. It's a long off. Getting under it. And uh, Mushtaq has got that break that his captain was looking for. Akib Javid is the man at mid-off. And Dean Jones will be most disappointed with that shot. The frustration coming through here. Dean Jones wasn't really getting him away, trying to play him off the back foot. And then uh, finally, he comes down the wicket to him to really attack him. Just hit it straight, but it goes straight up in the air. And he has very well placed. Take him, catch very easily. Three for 116. Mark War. And that's taken. Jeffrey Marsh getting the edge to the inslinger. So Pakistan, just when they needed uh, wickets, have picked them up. One to the leggy, and now one to the skipper. That's Imran Khan leading the way here. Showing his team exactly what is required. And now he gets one to just drift in slightly. Marsh cutting it. It's too close to him. And that is him out in Australia now, having lost both the informed batsman four for 122 well, on border on strike to the leg spinner mushtaq just four men inside the circle two oh on either God, side of the it. wicket and swept straight to the man at backward square leg ejaz is in the uh, the right position at the right time so mushtaq has struck again Yes, Alan Border's woes continue in the World Cup. And Mustak 
Holds one at Alan Border, who's trying to keep the get the run rate going. Just drifting down the leg, picks it up. And he just takes a superb catch there. Look at the delight in the Pakistan fielders. Five for 123. Australia badly needs a partnership from the War Twins. And a big shout there from Imran. He's been given. Steve War has been caught down the leg side. That is a bit of a bonus for Imran. He would be the first to admit that it wasn't the best delivery around. Steve War is uh, hanging around. Someone's obviously said something to him, and Imran is uh, just putting up his hand and uh, I think suggesting it's just uh, all done in excitement. But War is on his way. Yes, Imran getting one to drift down the leg side and just flicking his glove. And what a superb catch. Imran really excited about that. A little bit of a dispute there, but it's six for 130. One of Australia's best players uh, when they're not under pressure, Ian Healy. That's fine straight. Beautifully placed. Roger Nakaran can't cut it off. It's good stroke from Mark War. Umpire Pillar reporter, he enjoyed it as much as uh, Mark War did. Just a very classy shot, this. Look at that. Look at the timing. Just a snap of the wrist at the last moment. His footwork was superb. I think uh, Akron thought he was going to cut it off for a moment. All of a sudden, it was past him. 41 overs. Australia well behind on the comparative rate. Mushtaq Ahmed, the bowler. It's a good placement by Healy. Have to be quick. Oh. Yeah, that tested the hamstring out. Too right, it did see if the throw had have hit would he have been short it's pretty close if it hit he would have been out and that is just about the ball game I'd say Hakeem Javed has broken through in this over from the causeway end. Ijaz Ahmed is the man getting himself under it now. Judges the catch perfectly. And now Pakistan are within sight of victory and two points. Seven for 156. Craig McDermott is the new batsman. Comes out to join Mark War. LB Avenue. That's very well bowled by Wasi Makram. That inducker to the right hander. Another Australian wicket goes down. McDermott is gone. Come in from outside uh, the off stump. It moved a long way. Could have been going down leg side, but umpire Pillar reporter felt that it was going to hit the stump, so uh, played McDermott out for a duck. It's eight for 162. Mike Whitney comes out now to join Mark War. Mark War is on 26. And this will be the over. I think Mark War will try and charge to get some boundaries. He goes for the big hit down the long off. It's going to beat the man there. Yes, it does. That's what's needed. Beautiful straight. He found the gap using his feet. So this is going to be the charge from Mark War. Can he do it? The own handed effort. Mark War, a very fine player of spin bowlers. Uses his feet well. It's very much a case of do or die now for him and Australia. And he hits this with tremendous power. It's uh, always going to be four runners. Mistake by his final over. Sweeps in the air, there's a man out there, it's Eve Jazz, he's, he's gone! He's a good fieldsman and that's it! The leg spinner doing the job, throwing it up, Mark Wall going for the mid-wicket boundary. The fieldsman judged it beautifully and it's almost time for Australia and the World Cup. 
Pakistan have been maligned for their fielding over this competition. What they have done in this game, especially as the game's gone on, is catch their catches. Ejaz again in the deep, judges this very, very well indeed, takes it very comfortably, Mark Wall caught. Caught also in the dilemma, he had to go for runs. Without the big hits, Australia were lost in any case, but now they're 9 for 167. Michael Whitney on strike. Ah! Big shout, could be out. Wow, that sounded like a noise. It really did sound like wood there. Whitney right where he stands, he's ground. He can't believe that, Mustak. That spun and it sounded like wood all the way, but not out. It looks a little bit as though the only person on the ground who's not sure about this being out is Carl Liebenberg, and he's uh, exercised his right. Oh, there's a bit of an altercation here. And it's the over call, is it? The umpire going out to the captain. There's a few words being said between Whitney and the wicketkeeper. It's all happening, but it's not very pleasant, unfortunately. Gone, that's it. Michael Whitney is bowled by Wasna Akram. It's all over. Two points to Pakistan, a great victory, defending 220. They've bowled out Australia in the 46th over. Magnificent performance by the young leg spinner Mustak and Jack Jarvid Akib, Akib Jarvid, the medium pacer. That was a real hammering for Australia, inflicted by Pakistan. The Australian batting card looked at the end, 172, and they were nowhere near using up their full allocation of 50 overs. There were only three men reached double figures. Jeff Marsh, 39, and it took him 91 balls to do that. 47 from 79 balls for Dean Jones, and Mark Waugh made 30 from 42. 172 all out, and the Pakistan bowling, they all did wonderfully well. Wazim Akram, 2 for 28. Akib Javid, who achieved the breakthrough, those two early wickets of uh, Tom Moody and David Boone, finished with uh, 3 for 21. Imran Khan, 2 for 32, bowled well. Ijaz was the weak link, but no one could get at him. None for 43 and 10. And Mushtaq, the leg spinner, took three wickets and bowled really well out.